West. The ANC in the province is still hugely divided, especially with those in the Dr. Ruth Mombati and Bojanala regions unhappy with the NEC after the removal of former Premier Supra Mahomapilu. Mahomapilu challenged his removal in court with the two courts ruling in his favor. And with elections just two months away, the party leadership is doing all they can to build unity. Our reporter Lucas Mutibi is, uh, is there. Let's cross live to him. A very good morning morning to you, Lucas. Uh, give us a sense of what's happening where you are. We are here in Rustenburg in the northwest where President Cyril Ramaphosa will be arriving anytime soon to launch the provincial leg of the ANC manifesto here in the province. And his coming comes at a time when uh, ANC in the province continue to be divided. I mean, just yesterday we had members of the ANC in four regions saying that they are going to court to challenge the formation or the establishment of the new provincial task team led by Mayor Mamaluku Kubai together with Obed Bapela, who are NEC members. So there are dynamics, different dynamics in the province. Remember, even at Administratively, there are challenges including the province that has been placed under section 100 um, and municipalities that has also been placed under one, section 139. So as is, there are problems in the northwest and even alliance partners are also raising issues regarding the VPS. Remember that the previous PTT had taken a decision in fact to, to recall mayors that were implicated in the so-called VBS saga. So that decision has now been rescinded, that decision has now been put on ice until a after the elections. But with me here, I'm with uh, the job please from Kosat, who will also be illustrating to some of the issues that they are not happy with. Dr. Kliso, thank you so much for joining us. Let's go straight. You're saying you're expecting the president to come, perhaps even to issue some statement regards what you called a dis disrespectful NEC. Thank you very much. Uh, Kosatu is very worried about the, the division uh, in the Northwest province. Uh, we call upon the NEC, particularly the president, to ensure that there is unity in this province. You will recall that uh, there was a PTT, PEC, and now we, as an alliance we don't know who to talk to. As an alliance we can't communicate with the structure that actually will take us to elections. Even on the ground we want to work elections we can't be guided. So we're calling upon the president to be firm and we need discipline amongst the members of ANC. You'll recall that Kosatu have been firm on the issue of uh, VBS and it's still our call that all people who are implicated on VBS must, uh, action must be taken. And to date no action has been taken. In fact that decision has now been rescinded. But let's talk about the members that are now taking the, the new PTT, to, in fact, they're taking the ANC National to court over the inception of this new PTT. Are you happy with the PTT, the new PTT that includes former chairperson Supra Mahuma Pelo? Kosatu uh, call its unity in the province. Uh, and it, it has been our position that the NEC must be firm and action must be taken. As to who's going to lead the province, for us as Kosatu, we want a united ANC and we don't want to see the disaster that we're seeing now, whereby uh, there are two groupings. Even though the, the NEC is saying they've collapsed, the two groups, but they still the division is deepening. Well, that is definitely so, Kosatu, talking about the divisions that are here in the province, I'm going to quickly try to get uh, the national spokesperson of Kosatu, Ndate uh, Lekwete, to talk about these issues. As the nation, as the Lutuli House, how do they keep on addressing some of the issues that are here in the province? Mema Moloko, thank you so much. In fact, I didn't even see you now. You are here as a convener, I mean, coordinator. You come into the province that is really divided. I mean, just yesterday, members of um, the ANC in all four regions have indicated that they are taking the party to court over the inception of the PTT that you lead. Um, look, the issue of the court, obviously we got papers. Those papers have been served to the National Executive Committee through the Secretary General. We will await as the team that has been sent to the province for the response of the ASG as well as the leadership there. So normally in terms of court processes, the province do not take charge. It's what the NEC 
It's worrying, yes, because we're thinking that it's time of elections and all of us need to be focused on getting a decisive victory for ANC. A lot of people, when we go on the ground, they've been yearning to see the ANC. They've been yearning to find the leadership that is coming to talk to them. And that's why many of them, when we went and talked to them, they were saying they're looking forward to hearing the president talk to them today. And the other issue is you coming in. I mean, you are coming to the province that is really, really divided. Not only the members of the ANC, but even the alliance partners are really not. In fact, they are saying that the new PTT is the end of the ANC in the province. I don't believe so, but we'll engage with our partners. We've agreed with the president in the morning with other partners who are there. We are creating a platform. We've just a, arrived here a week. Um, so the primary focus was for us to get this rally going. Obviously, there will be a lot of engagement between ourselves and the alliance partners. We are equal partners. So there's no partner between us and the alliance who is more superior or senior than the other. So we'll treat our, our, our partners as with the utmost respect, make sure that they are part of the processes so that we can rectify. Where there are issues, we'll sit around the table and be able to find solution together, all of us. We have one interest as the people who've been sent here, to make sure that ANC is united. We make sure that all structures, all the members of the MDM structures are focused on election. This includes our alliance partners, this includes our leagues, this includes stakeholders beyond membership of the ANC who are yearning to see a leadership of the NC rising. One of the things that the NEC has done and the leadership there is to send people who are here. So we are not people who are going to contest the process, the province. We don't come from the province. So we have no interest except to make sure that the leadership and all the people here are united. It's not an overnight thing. It's going to be a long process and we're hoping that all members will journey with us. And briefly, are we expecting Super Mahuma Pelo and some of the people that have been supporting him here today? If you look at the stage, I'm not going to talk about individuals. I think what media has been doing is to try and divide us and start us focusing on individuals. I am not going to talk about individuals. I'm going to talk about the ind collective PTT. But, but he is the root of here. the problem here. Sorry. No, no, no. There is a PTT here. All of them are expected to be here. All PTT members, including leaders of structures in terms of alliance. Well, that is Mema Moloko Kubai talking about the divisions that are here in the province. You've heard she didn't really want to talk about uh, that the Supra Mahuma Bill, former chairperson of the ANC here in the Northwest. We know that, in fact, some of the meetings, as a member that was included in the formation of the new PTT, he has not been attending meetings. But of course, we heard from Dade Bapela who was saying that apologies have been sent. With that, back to you in studio. Years go by, and new faces are born. New villains. And new drama queens. We look back and reflect on the memories that serve us. A tight bond molding us together. Creating stories that will last forever. Make your evenings memorable. Weekdays on SABC One. Zanzi for sure. I use my name first and foremost, that's all I heard. And um, from using the name, I got a small loan of 8,000 rand. I remember there is a time, La Sa Zamum Funelum Sabin. It is worrying indeed when any publication has to close down. So it is really getting tough from the point of view of lack of sufficient readership to the issue of social media. How influential is the media still? Twitter, Facebook are influencing people far more than uh, mainstream newspapers nowadays. The media has greater responsibility compared to Twitter. The media itself is governed by certain codes and it must abide by those codes. Threatened, attacked and killed, journalists are also being imprisoned in record numbers around the world. If you mention and name particular journalists, you actually put them at risk. We were media activists and I, I believe we still are today. A journalist is an endangered species today. Watch Media Monitor Sundays at 9 a.m.
Welcome back.